Hello, this is Patrick Liu again and welcome to my video tutorial on how to create your first website. Now, today I want to explain what are name servers and why you need to know it. Don't worry, it may sound a little bit technical but it will become clear once I have explained it to you. You have bought a domain name and you bought it from a registrar and in this case it is GoDaddy.com you have also bought a hosting service account and you bought it from a company called hostgator.com so you have a domain name and a hosting account now now when someone wants to find your website they do it by typing in the domain name of your website now what happened here is this info is sent to your registrar which in this case is godaddy.com as you bought your domain name from them. Now GoDaddy received this information and tried to send the visitor to the website. But unfortunately they are not sure where to send to. Because you have bought the hosting account with HostGator and this is where all the files for the website are kept. You see GoDaddy has absolutely no idea because GoDaddy and HostGator are separate companies with no connection whatsoever. Now, so to resolve this problem, this is what we have to do. In fact, it is quite easy. We need to link up our registrar, who is GoDaddy, with our hosting account, and in this case is HostGator. Linking your registrar, in this case, is GoDaddy, and your hosting account requires something called name servers. So a name server links together your registrar with your host. Now as soon as you have done that and when someone types in your domain name of your website, your website will appear on the web. Now however you only need to change your name servers if your hosting company is different to your registrar. Of course, it is also possible that you buy your domain name and your hosting account from the same company. And if this is the case, you do not need to change your name servers. Now you may ask why all the hassle of changing name servers as you can buy both the domain name and hosting from the same company. Well, the main reason here is, and I actually do it all the time, I buy a domain name very cheaply and I host it somewhere else with a very reliable hosting company that also happens to offer a package with a very attractive price. In fact, it all boils down to dollar and cents. Well, this is what a name server is and I hope this video tutorial is of help to you. I will see you in the next uh, video tutorial where I will be changing the name server itself. So thank you very much for spending time with me. And I'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye.